Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Are home fade tests really meaningful in any way? Well, it depends, it all depends. But the way that most people will perform a home fading test, in other words, you wanna figure out whether the inks that you are using, this pertains, of course, only to third-party inks. Okay, that's the only reason anyone would ever wanna do this. And basically, if you are not using original inks that are rated at a certain level of longevity, anything else you use is going to have markedly less lifespan. In other words, maybe up to 10 times less. So, but let me show you, it's not all as bad as it sounds. Let me show you a print that I did. Probably, let's see, he was about three years old at this point. He was a big boy at three and it has not faded one iota. Of course, it is under glass. Of course, it is good paper, no OBAs, and I sprayed it before I even framed it under glass. You could do that with any third-party ink print that you create, and it will enhance the print's longevity by many fold. Okay, so how bad are some of these third-party inks? Well, I have done a test way back. You can go back and look at that video. And basically I tested precision colors inks on various papers. I sprayed some, basically the test was to test how efficient these so-called protective sprays were. And I used several of them and you can go back and check that. In fact, I probably will put a link to that video as well, or maybe a little uh, thing in the corner at the end for you to check. But regardless, I will go ahead and link it in the description. Um, basically what I did was print a set of images. It was actually some collages of images. One of them was a neutral black and white. One of them was a very bright image. And again, several types of images. I think it was like three or four per uh, print. And I waited a whole year. I exposed them on my east facing wall for a full year and then I came down and I reprinted that same collage and since I'm using QImage Ultimate I can save that anything that I do as a job and then recall it any time in, in the future and repeat the same process using the same printer the same settings exactly the way I did it way back and as long as I'm using the same inks basically I have a control that I can then compare to the ones that are a year old I also had one that I saved inside a box for a whole year. The results were that anything that I sprayed did not fade in a whole year. The ones that I did not spray did fade, became slightly brownish. They lost density on the black and lost density in the yellow. And those were the weak two colors, the weakest two colors in any particular dye ink set for any printer out there that you might buy as a third party choice. So recently, Precision Colors put out a new signature edition ink set for the Pro 100. So I said, well, I gotta test that. So they sent me the very first sample kit. I put it immediately to use. I went ahead and printed several OEM ink prints. I did standard images. I did regular images as well. And then I went ahead and swapped the OEM card set with one refilled with PC. 42 SE inks and I proceeded to do the same thing all over again making sure that I had already run a couple of cleaning cycles to clear out any OEM or remnants of OEM from the printhead the results were amazing I was quite shocked actually I really did not expect such great performance at all okay I really knew that it wasn't going to work but the shock came when I printed with just the driver using cheap Pro Luster paper, and the results were amazing just with the driver. I then proceeded to create a couple of uh, custom profiles so that I can go ahead and extract the most quality out of the PC42 SE inks. Now, shortly after that, he came out with a new replacement cyanic that was supposed to solve some inequities of the original cyanic that he was using, maybe increase that area of the spectrum a little bit as far as gamut goes 
Again, I went ahead and did that, but I did not include it in this test because this was done in August this year. So it's only been about four months, four and a half months. This has been sitting upstairs facing east. I do see changes. This is OEM, this is PC42SE. So about four and a half months later, I do see a slight yellowing of the image overall. But that's about it. So again, what does this mean to anyone else? Well, what should I do? Wait another seven to eight months till next August and then check again? Yeah, I will do that. This will go back on the wall when we are done tonight with this video. But I mean, what does that mean? It just means that whatever amount of fade I get, okay, within one year using ProLuster, my printer, and my conditions at home, meaning that particular wall, that particular level of light exposure, and whatever amount of ozone my atmospheric conditions in my home contain, because that's what will oxidize and cause the greatest amount of fading, beginning with black and also yellow. The other colors are not as affected by that, okay? So the biggest culprit in fading is ozone, and ozone levels are Everywhere you go, they're different. So again, and not only that, if it was just light, everywhere you go, it would be different as well. So a month, two months, three months fading, I could go maybe a year without any fading. If I put it on my wall in my room downstairs, it will never fade. That one over there has not fade. The ones that I have on my side have not faded yet. They've been there for a very, very long time. Some of them are even stacked on top of each other. If you remove that overlapping print, you would see a line where some fading may have taken place. So all I'm trying to say is that, yeah, I could go ahead and do this for a whole year and then give you that information that it faded X amount. I can actually measure these with my spectrophotometer and tell you the difference in, in fade between this block and that block. But what would that tell you? Yeah, it just tells you that in Jose's environment, Okay, here in Maryland, just north of Washington, D.C., this particular print faded this much in one year. Now, Pro Luster has tons of OBA. That alone will increase the rate of fading of any ink set, including OEM. Okay, the Pro 1000 was recently used as a test printer with OEM inks. They tested three papers. This is Ardenberg Imaging Group. One of them, of course, was this culprit right here. Then another one that I, I, I think it was a third party high end type paper. And then finally, Red River Paladuro Soft Gloss Rag. The Proluster inks, this is OEM pigment, by the way, okay? The Proluster prints began to fade after about 12 megalux of light. These PC inks, a couple of megalux of light, and they show fade already. But what does that mean? You know, okay, so then to give you an example why it's not so much the inks, also the conditions, but also the paper, okay? In their testing of the top quality Canon printer, Pro 1000, 2000, 4000, 6000, they all use the same ink set, top of the line quality. These could only withstand about 12 megalux of exposure. The Red River Paladuro, get ready, about 73, 74, 75 megalux of exposure. So that's several times more longevity. You would expect the same reaction with these inks. Because what happens, even though this print right here, to me right now, looks just the slightest bit more yellowish than this one. I really can't remember at this point. I would have to print another one and check to see if this yellowing of the image on this example was caused by fading and exposure up there for about five months or not. Maybe it's just the difference between the two inks. Remember, I just used the driver. So right now I can't remember. I would have to go back and reprint another one with simply using the driver for me to test. But any fading that I have seen with those inks tend to be more linear. And this was actually verified by Ardenberg. 
Pro 100, original PC 42 inks, not the new ones. Faded, yes, faded quite a lot compared to OEM. OEM lasts 100 years. Faded quite a bit. And the fade was linear. So the color balance did not shift. It just became lighter, that's all. It just became lighter than what it used to be, the original fresh density. So actually, that's really, really good. Most inks do not fade linearly. They fade, you know, the one color fades more than the other at different rates. So again, all I'm trying to say is that, sure, you can go ahead and make all the testing you want at your home, but that will only pertain to your home, okay? Even your neighbor's home, whatever electrical components he's running, if he's got several refrigerators and freezers, they generate ozone. Anything you attach to the freezer door will fade, believe me, quickly. And so, yeah, it's almost pointless. It will only answer the question for your particular environment, okay? And not necessarily someone in Chicago or in Arizona or in LA, whatever. It doesn't really answer that. They will get different results than you will, okay? I have people that have had fading within two weeks, two months. And again, we're here now at five months almost. It is getting lighter, yes. And again, this paper, it does have kind of a warm base to it as well. So again, I would have to go back and reprint this and then compare it to this just to see what we have, okay? If it comes out neutral like this one, then we know that something is happening causing a slight shift over to yellow, okay? What would that mean? Well, possibly the cyan may be fading a little bit, okay? And that would then predominantly then allow the yellow to change the color cast or the hue of the overall print. But you know what? Had I sprayed this, nothing would have happened nothing it would last years in fact i would grow tired of it probably now that's not to say that you should be offering people prints for money a number edition or something to that effect that was printed with a third-party ink set especially dye inks no you better have printed it with a good pigment ink set such as this one such as this print right here on watercolor paper, uncoated, it does not have any OBAs whatsoever, acid free. That print will last longer than you really care, okay? Actually. So, yeah, that is it. Please take all of these results you see with a big grain of salt because they really mean nothing to your particular home environment. Wherever you display your prints, it really will not make that much of a difference you won't be able to correlate those results with what's going to happen under your environment it will be totally different all right that is it thank you so much by the way keep this in mind from now on my live stream will be on sunday afternoons at four i had a very successful trial i had more people than i have ever had come on board and so i actually had people from across the ocean the hour was not so late over there, so they were able to jump in and join us. And of course, anyone in the U.S. had no problem joining us. I even had a guy from Australia. Yeah, and Australia is a pretty big country, so they have several time zones. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much. There will be a lot more videos. I have a whole list of subjects to cover. So I will try to do one every day. Maybe I will skip a day. But I will try to do a video every day this week so that we can have something to enjoy and hopefully learn from. And so I will leave you until the next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And of course, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.